guys, I want to talk to you real quick about surrender. And I think it's a very uh, popular word right now. People leaning into it. People hear it like, oh, yeah, I need that. And it's something I'm looking to to embrace um, in my life right now with a lot of things. There's a lot of things, and it's um, I think it's natural for all of us to want to be in control and manage and you know we get our planners out and our to-do lists and our notifications and reminders and what I'm noticing is that at first when I looked to empower surrender I was doing it from a place of it being being my scapegoat like meaning that well if I'm surrendering then I don't have to worry about any of this shit and <laughs> and making it an either or like either I am crazy and manage all the things or I surrender and I don't care about any and what I'm noticing more and more is that it's not about about just being um, apathetic about the things I used to worry about. I'm actually surrendering, controlling the outcome rather than um, surrendering, surrendering um, taking action. So, for example, today um, I had a hard conversation with a friend and from my original definition of surrender, I would have never had it. I would have just pretended like I didn't care. And today I surrendered to the fact that I might make a mess here. And that's okay. So I shared that with you just to give you uh, just some different, a different lens to look at. If that's something, if that's a word that resonates for you or if it's something that you hear and you're like, oh, I need to surrender, check in to see if you're using it as an escape from something. 